once we do that, feel free to take all your things with you. That would be awesome. Or you can put them here, whatever you prefer. We're here. Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've done all the things. Yeah. Not all the things. We still have a closing party and this wonderful ceremony. So. Yeah. Um, moment of reflection. So when we started this event, we started with thinking about what we are here to learn and what we're here to give. And we're going to take some time to think about that now. So I'm sure over these past three days, we've all met some new people and we've also connected with people that we've known before coming into the space. Um, but we just want to take some time to really think about what that means and what we're doing um, with that. So looking around the room, I just want to invite everyone to just really take a moment and look around and see who's in the room. Just really notice everybody that's here. And think about someone that you're looking at that you feel you know more about as a result of these past three days. And place your hand on the shoulder of that person. Feel free to stand up. Place your hand on the shoulder of someone that you feel you know more as a result of these past three days.
Yes, I can. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yo aprendí de Joel, que apenas conocí. Uh, ¿sí? Ay, tu vida. Anyway, uh, aprendí de Joel y, y algo que estábamos hablando de, de que nos dimos cuenta que el teatro para uh, jóvenes eh, se ve de diferentes maneras y, y aprendimos de las diferentes maneras en que se, se hace el trabajo y, y aprendimos de, de cómo se hace en este lugar y cómo lo hacen en este otro lugar y así empecemos a aprender de, de diferentes maneras de hacer el trabajo. Can you say that one more time? Yes. Thank you. Uh, we learn how it's done um, in, in different ways. How the theater for young artists is, uh, looks in this place and how it looks in this other place. And so we learn from that. So learning how it can be done in different ways. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Who else? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I learned from Maria here um, that she came not knowing kind of what to expect, not having been in theater for a little bit, and she's leaving knowing the strength and the power of the creative energy and how positive it can be. So learning about the strength and the creative energy and how positive it can be. Thank you. Who else? Who else would like to share? Yeah. Yeah, I learned from all of you guys that we as Mexican and come here and receive love. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 here against fucking fascism. Bueno, yo soy de Chile. Eh, aprendí mucho estos días de todos eh, viendo el trabajo, pero me parece que la, esta experiencia de un festival latinoamericano para jóvenes audiencias me muestra lo necesario que es esta instancia, lo urgente, lo subversiva que es esta instancia y, y, y he visto el coraje y, y la resistencia de la comunidad latina y de los latinos descendientes en esto y me estoy muy emocionada. ¡Oh! The good news is that I didn't know what to expect, so everything was new for me, and I discovered this great uh, group that's really amazing and wonderful. The bad news is we have to keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're planning to do something in Mexico, maybe starting with playwright, but try to do some more things.
Sí, eso también. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I do want to say thank you. Uh, I can never say enough thank you to anybody. Uh, in this particular moment, I want to say thank you to uh, the Mexican American Cultural Center again. <laughs> City of Austin Cultural Arts Division, the Texas Commission on the Arts, the National Endowment of the Arts. There's a lot. You guys have a whole list of them in the program. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, and I definitely want to say thank you again to Abigail, to the Latinx Theater Commons, and for all of them. <laughs> and the University of Texas as well, because there's no way that Chateau Vivo or myself could like have done this, <laughs> could have made this happen. Um, and I have received so much love, so much support. Um, the rest of Chateau Vivo as well, who's here in the house, I see a lot of you. Raise your hand, please. We're, we're a small group, but... <laughs> we're a small group, but honestly, we, we, have, we have a really big heart. Um, thousands of times that you're ready to quit. Uh, yes. And then this happens. <laughs> and of course, I got to uh, thank my mis hermanos y hermanas de Proyecto Teatro también. And honestly, guys, I, mean, I know we're hosting you guys here, but these guys actually do the work. If you have not met them yet, please go talk to them. Take them with you. Take them to Mexico, to Colombia, wherever you want to take them. Por favor. No? <laughs> you will learn a lot from them. Seriously, you will learn a lot from their seven-year-olds. have taught me so much. They're incredible. So thank you guys. And then... I do kind of want to remind us that this really was a weekend not about us. You know, we've been talking about how we write our plays. How do we decide how to write a story? How do you get started? Um, when in the end, I think the question that we have to remember is, who are we doing this for? Yeah. And in this case, it's all about the young people. You know, it doesn't matter what your reasons are. You just have to look at them first and always put them first. So if we're writing their stories, we have to make sure that we're writing what they want us to say. And if we want to talk um, for them, we have to be absolutely sure that it's their voice that's actually being reflected. Um, okay? So let's just remember that. Uh, do what? <laughs> so, I know we talked earlier about intentions. You know, we made, we made promises, um, especially at the beginning of the, of the convening. You know, we, we, uh, we had those questions that Emily presented. You know, what, um, what do you have to teach? What do you have to learn? And what are you most excited about? Um, I do want to remind you guys, uh, at the panel a couple days ago, Rupert Reyes, the founding director of Teatro Vivo, um, mentioned that Teatro Vivo was not a TYA theater company, you know, and, and we're still not. We don't do theater for young audiences uh, normally. We're, we just do bilingual theater. But we started with Mariachi Girl, you know, a couple years ago. Mariachi Girl was a story that came out of uh, Teatro Vivo's Austin Latino New Play Festival, and it was developed, and thanks, for, uh, pe thanks to people like uh, Nat Miller from Zach Theater, and of course Roxanne and all of UT, um, it turned into Teatro Vivo's first um, production of that sort. And since then, um, we've made more of a commitment to providing services, uh, Teatro, for, uh, for the young people of Austin. Um, so I just want to make sure that we make a promise to, to ourselves, to each other, that we're going to start somewhere um, and then see where that takes us. Okay, so right now what I want to do is just, we're sharing a lot today, so please um, turn to the person around you and just kind of uh, remind yourselves and just talk to each other just for a little bit about what your intentions are now. You know, after what you learned this week, um, what you realize that you still don't know crap about. Um, whatever your intentions are, I need you to tell each other what, um, what you're promising to do. Okay, so this is taking maybe half a minute. Go.
Now, if you guys want to just shatter it out into the world so that everyone around you can hear, um, let's just hear some of those things. What promises do you make to the young people of your community of, of, of our world? So just, just toss some things out. To listen. To listen, absolutely. To Anybody trust else? Them. Sorry? To trust them. To trust them, yes. Yeah. Yes. Remember how smart they are. Yeah. Remember how smart yeah. they are. Yeah. 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 Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Create opportunities for them. Yes. Provide yeah. the resources. Create opportunities and provide resources. To learn from them. Learn from yeah. them. Yeah. They might be small, but they are mighty. Yeah. They might be small, but they are mighty. <laughs> Receive their hope. Receive their hope. Thank you. Say, say, hacer como quieran ser. Give them our best. Give them our best. Acknowledge all engagements. Acknowledge all engagements. That's yes. <laughs> Thank you. Remember that young people are valuable now, not just in the future. Yes. Yeah. 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 So make it said, remember that young people are valuable now, not just in the future. Sueña okay. con ellos. Be the wild, black, Afro, Latina woman that they need you to be. Be the black, wild, Afro, Latina woman that they need you to be. Well, these are all excellent guys, and guess what? It's on video, it's been recorded. You have to own up your promises. <laughs> So now, if you don't mind, and I don't think any of us do, um, we started this session hearing from the young artists, and I'd like to welcome them back onto the stage uh, yeah. to share some words with us. Um, and I sure I, I know some of you experienced some of their work at the Black Box, uh, the Taller de Preto Teatro, um, which was awesome. And I'd like to welcome them up here. Yashua, estás aquí? Sí. Yashua y Valeria. last day of Sin Fronteras Festival. <laughs> and, well, in Proyecto Teatro we have a saying, life is too short to not to do theater. <laughs> and this was so true in this conference. From marionettes from all the way from Chile to a one-man show bringing the gods of Mexico to Austin. Yeah. And all that was in between. In this conference we learned more about our Latin culture, learned of the stories of so many people and learned of the many ways to show and spread our culture to the next generation. Well, at least that's what I hope that we've learned in last year. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, those of you who saw me Thursday, I'm not very good at giving speeches, so... <laughs> Fronteras Festival, and when everyone goes back home, I want you to continue giving us youth theater, even when it gets hard, even when no one is looking. Just keep on doing it, and show us the power of theater. Thank you very much on behalf of everyone in youth theater, on behalf of Proyecto Teatro, and on behalf of me. Thank you very much. <laughs> What a beautiful weekend we have all had together. For the first time in this country, we have made time to celebrate the work of artists creating, of, of, of Latinx and Latin, Latin American artists creating work for young people, seeing aesthetically diverse and really excellent work, 
and, uh, and learn more about the canon and heard from practitioners and producers all over the country and Latin America who are actually doing the work. At the beginning of the convening, we've said this before, both Emily and Mario called on this group to be aware of moments when they learned something and when they taught something. This exemplifies a principle in the LTC we call horizontal mentorship. This is our way of acknowledging that we all have something to offer this movement and this work, and that without all these individuals offering up their expertise, the LTC would not be able to do what they do, what we do. I can think of so many moments this weekend where individuals gave of themselves so that the experience could be better for others. For me, those are the moments that make a convener. The most common question I got this weekend was not, where is the lab theater? <laughs> but, how can I help? Sometimes from people I was meeting in real life for the very first time. Wow. <laughs> Friends, how can our field and our culture not be changed when we have so many willing spirits in one room? I'm going to shout out a couple groups of folks, and if you have participated in any of the things I'm about to name, raise your hand and gesture as you are able, and, and keep it up so we can kind of see what, who's out there. We had folks who volunteered to serve as post-show facilitators. Wow. Okay. Let's hold it. So let's hold it till the end. I want to, I want to build. It's dramaturgy. Uh, <laughs> our cleanup crews, setup crews, Live streaming team, <laughs> smiling faces at the check-in table, <laughs> UT students who worked tech, Woo! the artists who came all this way to do their work for us, Woo! our breakout session leaders, our plenary speakers, our party planners, and the servers for tonight. I also want to shout out the fantastic, fantastic, fantastic Taylor Jane Cooper, who is an angel dressed Woo! She was instrumental in making this weekend happen. She managed all the arrivals and departures of over 1,300 young people to the shows, set up our food and snacks, and generally was there whenever we needed her. So give all these folks a round of applause. the next time we'll all be together. The LTC will be gathering at the 2019 LTC Miami Regional Convening over the weekend of the 12th of July this year. This event will focus on issues relevant to the Miami and South Florida region, but you are all invited to come learn, offer teaching, and run from air-conditioned building to air-conditioned building <laughs> with us as we take in the work at the International Hispanic Theater Festival, which is running concurrently with our convening. I also want to take a moment to thank our champions and our steering committee. Roxanne came to the LTC steering committee with this idea in 2016. And for those of you who were at that very, very long meeting in Seattle, uh, you'll recall that after she pitched the project, there was very little conversation about it because the need was so real and apparent. The gap and the connection between the TYA world and the Latinx theater world was so big, we knew we had to do this. The only question anyone asked was, how can we do it right? I hope we lived up to it. When Emily came on board as a co-champion in 2018, she brought a grounding quality to the team. Yesterday she said, you know, every champion or co-champion team for an LTC event needs the branches that reach out and the roots that ground you. I'm sure that any of you, all of you who've been with us for the past two days, know which one of them is the branches. <laughs> but I am so grateful. <laughs> as, as many of you know, I will be leaving the LTC at the end of July. And as Gabriel Barrera pointed out to me moments before Kaleidoscopio, and I've not still forgiven him for this, uh, this is my last LTC convening I'll produce on my own. Uh, while I will produce, while I will be with you in Miami in the air conditioning in July, <laughs> uh, I will be there helping to train our next producer and co-producing the event with them. It has meant a lot to me personally to produce this convening uh, less than 70 miles from where I grew up in San Antonio, Texas. To have this event in Texas, a state that many write off, but in reality is one of the most beautiful, 
heartfelt and diverse makes my heart sing. It has also meant a lot to me to work on this with my friend, Roxanne Schroeder Arce, who cast me in my first ever Latino play 10 years ago. <laughs> at Emerson College. This was not something I had realized until yesterday when Emily asked us from the plenary about our first experience at Latinx TYA. I thought about it and realized my first experience was with Roxanne. <laughs> <laughs> Touring Boston, the Boston area public and charter high schools, doing workshops with students after the shows. That experience taught me what can happen when people are given a chance to engage with culture that reflects their reality. And from that moment on, I didn't want to do anything else. Latinx TYA changed my life and set me on this course, and I didn't even remember that till yesterday. <laughs> so it's almost time for us to head outside, in a moment, not now. <laughs> After these ceremonies are over, we're going to have a dinner break on your own, uh, or hopefully with your new friends, not by yourself. Uh, we'll come back here at 6.30 for our closing night party, hosted by our Austin host committee and planned by Joanne and Rupert Reyes. <laughs> there will be some yummy eats and drinks from our sponsor, who I was not allowed to mention on the UT campus. Uh, our, uh, our, our liquor sponsor is Tito's Homemade Vodka. <laughs> And, an, and anthemic lyrics, challenging and celebrating a message of unity and empowerment both in English and Spanish. They are archived in the Austin History Center as the youngest Latina band in Austin. <laughs> we have requested Selena covers. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to turn it over to our co-champion, Roxanne schroeder -Ars. the beautiful, meaningful art in many, many languages, uh, the questions, the hugs and the kisses that I received and observed, <laughs> the tears, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and of course, those incredible, incredible moments of watching theater with, with young people alongside of all of you. What, what else is, what else is there? Um, moments where I literally, yeah, like moments like now. Um, so, so thank you. Um, and it truly uh, is, is a dream come true. So, so thank you. Um, to watch you with intention, observing young people, seeing this incredible work. That's just in, truly, a dream come true. Um, so, I, yeah, I went off script and yeah, I don't know. So, um, but I, I'm tired. <laughs> and incredibly inspired and, um, and at the same time, so energized by all of the energy that you have all brought here. So, gracias. Um, Again, we want to say thank you to everyone who made this happen, especially the LTC steering committee who said, 
yes. And lots of people say yes and hand you a couple dollars. <laughs> and the LTC steering committee said yes and then said yes and came forward and kept doing. And I'm so, so grateful. UT Austin, Teatro Vivo, of course, the MAC, every individual who gave of your time and spirit. Gracias, gracias. Um, we also want to honor and lift up the companies who shared their incredible work. La Negra, Maria Teatro, Teatro Vivo, and Glass Half Full. Uh, of course, they're from Austin, you know. Tras Mayo, Ix, Inti? Yeah, is this one? Yeah. From Mexico City. <laughs> and the melanin from Chicago. <laughs> and today, getting to experience Child's Play from Tempe. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, as Abigail said, the journey is not over. And not only are we going to follow through on the commitments that you make with Mario that are recorded, but <laughs> there are still more opportunities to engage with the LTC and with the communities we have formed the last few days. We will be meeting again this summer, as, as Abigail said, in Miami to, to meet and grow as artists uh, in Miami and South Florida. And we want everyone to be there. The LTC also makes stuff happen. So if you know people who need to be there, reach out and, and have some roots as well. <laughs> and get them there, right? Um, I, I want to take this moment to acknowledge my friend, Adriana Gaviria. Where are you? Yeah? Yeah. So, she's here, and she's going to be the champion of that event. And Emily and I are so ready. To hand over. Because <laughs> we are done with you people. No, no, no. But good luck. <laughs> um, so, uh, I, do, um, I do need to, to take a moment to, to thank and honor the absolutely tireless, and I mean tireless, I don't even know how she does it. I really don't. I really don't. I really don't. Because I see it all day and then I'm like, you're still moving. So. And, and around that tirelessness is also an incredible intentionality, thoughtfulness that I appreciate so much. So um, we all do, and, um, and Abigail, we are just so incredibly grateful to you. Thank you. And uh, as Abigail mentioned to you a moment ago, she actually is done with you people. <laughs> Um, but that's not true. She's going to be around, we know that, and she'll always be part of LTC, and she, you know, we, we're going to keep her. But um, we also want to really put out there that perhaps the next producer is here. Perhaps the next producer is your neighbor, someone you work with, someone that you know, someone you don't know yet that you should know. Um, so please get the word out. Uh, we still, uh, applications are going to be, um, uh, extend, the, the deadline is extended until February 10th. So we do encourage you to apply, and um, and I mean you've got some big shoes to fill, but <laughs> uh, but we, we, we hope you will apply. And again, thank you, Abigail. Going back and forth too between between Emily and myself, and I'm like, how are you keeping? You know, how do you know which hat to wear? Because we're both, yeah. So. In a moment, we are going to stand, and we're going to walk out the doors of the theater, and maybe our incredible impromptu band would guide us. That would be incredible. Um, and we're going to go form a circle. Oh, actually, before we do that, uh, we are going to go with with Erica, and we're going to go 
have a photo of all of us together because the lighting is perfect right now. And if any of y'all know me, I always need the photo. So it didn't happen. It's not so we're going to go up. We're going to take a photo. And then we're going to create a circle. What? Is that really what you said? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna form a circle much like we did at the opening, and um, and then we are going to get to see the incredible, incredible Mito Itzli Yayoyoli Danza Azteca Company from Dallas, Texas. You already met Katia and Mario. They have the rest of the group with them, and we're just incredibly excited about that. Um, led by Evelio Flores, and Evelio is here. Uh, so, as we, when we're out there, they're going to dance for about 20 minutes. I will be in the circle for 20 minutes. If you feel like you want to sit down, um, actually, if someone could grab a few chairs, okay, uh, for our elders, that'd be great. And then we're going to um, be in a circle, and there's some grass, as you know, so don't, it, it's not, it's okay if you move away from the circle and just take care of yourself, that's fine. Um, but we dance for about 20 minutes. And then um, we'll receive a final blessing from the incredible... Maria Rocha and Dr. Mario Garza um, will end it with us, and uh, we're grateful, grateful for that. And um, that's how we're going to end it. And then, um, okay, as we walk outside and follow you, um, we ask that you have another chat, talk some more, reflect a little more. We are it all into the reflection. And um, I, again, am just so, so humble and grateful for, for all of the energy that you have put into this. So, gracias.